Hello and welcome to episode one of the Revolution Africa Football Manager series on Football Manager 2012. What we're going to be doing here is doing a playthrough with an African team, probably from South Africa, and taking from their bottom league into the Premier League. And pretty much this will end when I, with that same team, win the league. Okay, so pretty much develop the squad, develop the team. That will be all behind the scenes, but what we'll be doing in this is pretty much showing you the match highlights, do a quick recap, and we'll split up into games of five. So, let's see how we're going to get on. Sorry here, this is actually game three against the Black Leopards. It was a bit of a boring game, nil-nil as you see here. But we had the last bit of a roll of dice here, so you know. I changed things through the game obviously, tried to get the goal, passing it around, see what we could do, work some magic, think we're Barcelona out here, obviously not, but you know, no harm in trying, so, wiki wiki, we keep trying, keep trying, they've got great defence here, they're sticking our rubble well, so like, uh, okay, get a corner though, the efforts aren't a waste, so we're going in, we're going in. We really are going in. What can we do? What can we do? So, last minute. Nothing. So, that's pretty much how Osman, trying to be the hero, ends up as a failure. So, bit of match statistics. I thought we played rather well though, it might have been a B team, but we still tried hard. As you can see here though, our contract negotiation didn't go too well. People always trying to be really big bollocks. But the worst here though, has to be this idiot who did not want to mentor one of the younger players. Now, I hate selfish players, but hey, had to keep it cool. But only just started the job. No point rocking the boat, you know? So, really, really tried hard not to like leave the conversation here. Because, you know, I'm the boss. I'm the gaffer. Leave it, yeah? So, didn't work. Golden arrows now. So, big bounce back from the leopards. Well, not really bounce back, but you know, early goal here. Bah. Then, bah. Easy mistake with a goalkeeper. But yeah, they scored pretty much soon after this. Corn didn't pick it up because you know, you see here it's quite laggy, but you know, half time. It was right at the brink of half time, it really cheesed me off, I must admit. So, what we're going to do? 50 minutes. Uh, they scored. Had to change things around there. Because, you know, I'm not happy with losing. Might be pre-season, but, you know. So, got the ball back. Black Leopards taught us to keep passing it. So, we played him up, we played with that. But Kevin. Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. Had to go and foul one of my players. Don't know why. It was uncalled for. It was reckless. So you hear the ref weighed up his options, looked under his pockets, thought it would be a good idea, patted him on the back for that one. Post-match interview gave him 10 out of 10. So, to our advantage now, 10 men. But we still haven't scored in the 87th minute, so you know, dying moments of the game. Perhaps we get a draw, even, you know. Last minute effort from a corner. Could we do it? We were looking for a bounce back on the 2-1 loss against the Swallows here. So, you know. <sighs> Didn't even time to finish my sentence before they scored. It really cheesed me off because, you know, 43rd minute, we had to change our team tactics. So, here we go. Right on the brink of half time. I'm trying to keep them out now. Everyone's back. Look at that in the bus but we left the hole and they scored again quick fire double ridiculous <sighs> so 
So after half time, made a few changes obviously. Tactical wise, because you know, if we can keep them for 43 minutes, we could play this rather well. So, you know, had faith in my players. Well, we gave away a free kick and found ourselves 3 0 down. No, this couldn't be happening. But it could. So, you know, we got the ball back. Tony retained possession. We were holding it. We were holding it. And we scored. We actually scored. I was so happy with my team. It was. Unbelievable. So, let's see how we've done that one. We've gone back, we've passed the ball around, you know. Like I said, kept the ball, kept on what we learned from the Black Leopards. They were tough, but we could always do our best. And I made some changes though, I had to make some fundamental changes, especially the back four. And I made four changes from the strikers down to the defenders. So, let's watch the goal again. Because, you know, I'm really happy with this. We're 3 1 now, 3 0 down even. I had to score. Whip, whip, goal, 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 which you missed in this episode was with a rather well 2 0 win against the smelly reserve team. Amazulu then came along. We kind of drew them at home. It's a bit disappointing, but you know, they are, they are rivals. So we took the draw in the friendly. African Warriors Wanderers then, a bit like a dodgy Bolton. We smacked them 4 1. Have some of that. Then you saw our draw against. The Black Leopards, the higher league side, got a good draw there, but it went downhill from there. 2 1 to Golden Arrows, then 3 1 to against the Swallows to finish pre season. That was not the icing on the cake I'd hoped for. So, in the next episode, hopefully, you'll get to see the absolute beauty of a first division cup first round against Bay United, which I'm not going to spoil it for you, but you know. You can tell by the little circle there that it didn't go too great, all the way to penalties that one did. And then an absolute lovely first division opening season game ending in 3 3. Couldn't be happier. And there'll be other games such as Blackburn, Turks, don't even Turk, I don't even know what that says, and some other matches you'll see in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for episode 2 of the Revolution Africa Project on the Cool Safe Tech channel on YouTube through Football Manager 2012. Thank you.